Welcome to another Rockler demo. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a high-tech accessory that you can easily add to your projects. I'm talking about adding a wireless phone charger. Once installed, all you have to do is place your phone directly over the device and the phone starts charging, which kind of seems like magic to me. I mean, how does power jump from one device to another without any wires? Now, I'm not going to try to fake my way through a detailed explanation of the science behind this technology, but I will try to cover a basic overview of how it works. Now, for this to work, you need two things. First, you need a phone that's compatible with this technology. More and more new phones have this feature. Second, you need a wireless charger, obviously. Now, there are lots of shapes and sizes of wireless chargers. Some are like a little mat, almost looks like a mouse pad that sits on your desk. And then others look like a puck, like this one, and can be installed into furniture. This Zen's Puck 3 is the model Rockler started carrying recently because it's designed to be built into furniture, which of course is how we think most of you will want to use the wireless charger. It uses the universal Qi, which is spelled capital QI charging standard, a large 15 watt charging coil and is commercial quality. You don't want to put all the time and effort into building a beautiful piece of furniture only to be frustrated by a lower quality component not working. So basically the way it works is there's a copper coil in the charger that has alternating current running through it, which creates an electromagnetic field. The phone also has a copper coil, and when it is close enough to the magnetic field created by the charger, the phone detects that field and induces a current into the phone and converts it to direct current, which charges the battery. It's the same technology that's been used for many years in electric toothbrushes, and now is being used in more and more devices. This all goes back to the discoveries of Nikola Tesla back in the late 1800s. The more you know. Now what's great about this Zen's charger is it can be installed exposed with one of these cover plates or it can be installed under the surface so it's concealed in something like a nightstand or an end table. We designed this dresser valet to hold the charger and a few essentials. We also designed this nightstand which has the charger concealed under the surface you can find the free plans for both projects in the video description. Now the only woodworking techniques needed to install this charger are you need to create the pocket or the hole that contains this puck. Now the diameter of that hole needs to be 80 millimeters, which equates to very close to 3 and 5 30 seconds, which is not a common drill bit size. So there are a couple ways you can accomplish this. The first option is to use a compass to draw the 3 and 5 30 second inch diameter circle and then cut it out using a jigsaw or scroll saw. Cut just inside the line and then sand up to the line. Now if you're going to be installing multiple chargers, then a more efficient process is to use that first method I described to cut a hole in a piece of plywood or hardboard and then use that as a template to guide a router with a guide bushing and then just route out the circles. And when you've completed your project, then all that's left to do is insert the puck into the opening and tighten the fins that expand to hold the charger securely. These fins expand about a 32nd of an inch, which gives you a little room if you cut the hole a little too large. And we realize this is relatively new technology, especially in the world of woodworking, but we're really interested to get your feedback. We'd love to know what types of projects you could see yourself installing a wireless charger, and also, when you're shopping for a wireless charger, what features are you considering? Is it price, install options, the power of the charger? Now this Zen's charger is at the top of the line when it comes to features and quality, and we realize there are a lot of less expensive chargers out there to consider. Rocker chose this one because of its commercial quality and furniture applications, but we'd really like to know what you think. So please provide your feedback in the comments. So I hope you learned something in today's demo and maybe it sparked some new ideas for future projects. I'm Dan Carey with Rockler and Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.